My name's Heidi Mickey and I um, live here in Kwinana, grown up here in Fremantle area for most of my life. Um, for the last three years I've been living and working up north and have come back home in May of last year. Um, following a little bit of this uh, current negotiation in the media but haven't been involved. Prior to moving away I um, never, I'm not a member of Land Council and I didn't want to be a member at Land Council because I don't see value in native title for Noongar people. Um, when I was schooling a lot of the elders who were um, supporting this agreement at the moment used to come in and take us on camps and come into school and tell us how important it was for us to get an education and we are the next leaders of our people and now I'm 34 about to turn 35 and I like to see myself see that um, because I have been to university and I've been working in the community now for 17 years which is half of my life that um, I'm able to step up and provide some of that uh, leadership particularly in the younger younger group for our mob so uh, when I come back home and started to look more into what this agreement was, I got really happy. Um, I've worked youth, disabilities, policing, child protection, and all we keep hearing about are the same themes of, um, you know, violence, alcohol, abuse, and how we need to have safe houses, we need places to bring up our own kids, we need culture, we need language. And we keep hearing that and I haven't seen any change since I've come home. Um, and I wonder who the we is. I think the we is us and that through this agreement we uh, individuals are able to uh, step up and provide those solutions ourselves. That's what gets me excited that we can't keep waiting for this we that we need to start putting our hands up and saying well I can do this and we need more people doing that. Um, like when we look at these kids in the um, kitty prison here and smashing up the place last year we got people in the media, you know, through Tent Embassy saying we need our elders to go in there and give them culture, we've got to take them back to country. Well, you know, I don't see no one stopping them from doing that now, but it's not happening. And I think the reason why it doesn't happen as much as it should, sorry, because it does happen in some areas, is because we don't have those spaces and we don't have that access, proper access to country. Um, and I think through this, I know through this agreement that we're going to be able to get those opportunities to do that. So um, I think it's really important for people to find out the facts and the opportunities and the potential of what we as people can make for our future generation. Because today I sit here as 34 saying really that these mob here are going to be our next leaders by the time we set these foundations then it's going to be these young people that are going to be stepping up and providing those too so you know I just think it's important to keep that flow and get that, get that information out there and, and have people getting excited about what our possibilities are and forgetting uh, trying to get past some of that hurt and pain that uh, they might be carrying with them and look at, at how we might be able to heal ourselves with parts of this agreement in the future. How did you go about supporting other Noongar people to support the proposed settlement? Well, I think this is one way. Like what I, what I see at the moment is people don't feel confident to talk up. Uh, like I know for myself, in some space, I don't feel like I'm old enough to have a say. Or um, funny thing is, the first time I speak up, people start to question, "Well, who you come from? Where you mob?" Anyway, you know. And I just think, well, that stuff. Maybe my policing give me a bit of a thick skin and child protection because you get those um, kind of things. But it don't matter who we are and who we, where we come from so much. To me, it's about everyone getting together because there's a, in, you know, with native title as a whole, some people, there's, there's some benefits for some people, but not as a whole for all of Noongar people. And that's what I think we need to do is start looking at that part and feeling confident to talk up. We all belong to in our community and everyone has a right to say about the future. No one built a future for my kids. I had to get a job and get myself a house and pay my bills and get that. No one else done that for me. No one's going to do it for me in the future either. So that's what we need to do is feel like we have a say and we have some of our own um, power in community to have a say about the future for everybody. So you think this, this settlement will help achieve all of those sort of goals? Definitely. I think it's the start of something. 
and that when we show people how deadly we are because we got lots of very educated experienced people that people don't know about in community and when we start showing and performing and seeing outcomes then I think we're going to grow even stronger and I think we'll actually be offered more and like other NGOs around now who get funding to provide services they get it because they have assets they have outcomes well we're going to do the same thing through this and so not only will we have what in this agreement but we're going to be a lot more credible and have a lot more integrity and be able to fight for some of these other funding and services through other people that shouldn't be having them now. Um, you got anything else? Any other comments that you want to make? <laughs> um, I, look, I just, uh, my only comment is that when people hear things, and that's with anything, with this agreement, with anything in community, it's really important to find out what, what the truths are. You know, when I worked child protection, people used to say all sorts of yarns that wasn't true about that system. Um, and really, people should have more, find out more of the information before they make a decision on things because that's what I did. You know, I made time to come along to these meetings, pregnant with baby now, who's only just four weeks old. You know, I'm coming along to find out because this is important. And it's, a, it's about our future. So I know people are busy, but there's night meetings, there's day meetings, people can come to your home. Nothing is more important than what is the future for our kids. So I think people need to make that time.